let's talk roofing, shall we? I've had a request to do a video on roofing. Uh, I'm certainly happy to do that. Roofing is one of those things that people tend to shy away from. Sorry. Um, because it's not the easiest thing. Let's just go there. It's not. Um, but... Sorry, I had to turn it up. I could barely hear it. All right. Uh, it's just... It isn't always... Like I like to say, it's not always what you're doing. Sometimes it's the order of what you're doing it. So we're going to go and look at some, uh, try some roofing um, with some shells that I've downloaded today from Spring Sims. If you haven't followed Spring Sims, I don't know what you're waiting for. Um, but yeah. So this is how uh, Stephen decided to roof this, but it doesn't have to be roofed that way. Um, and it is a shell, so you don't have to leave it this, leave it in this um, position either. So here is, here is what we're starting with. I'm just gonna take a screenshot super quick. I don't need to. We have that right in game. It's fine. <laughs> Second guess like myself. All right. So instead of that's one way of roofing it, but there's always a ton of different ways to roof, roof a house. Um, so generally the easiest way is to figure that this center is your center. The biggest roof is your main roof. In this case, it doesn't have to be a hip roof, but let's say it was. Let's say it was a hip roof. So there's your center roof. And then what is smart? Then all your other roofs join to the center roof, if that makes sense. And of course, that, that would want to come down a little bit. So it looks appropriate with this height roof. And then I would just take that and put it here too. So, I mean, this is, we're just going simple for now. And if you wanted to, you could bring that right through. And it actually looks kind of cute that way. All kinds of cute. So, I mean, that it's a, it's a simple shell. And this is a simple roofing job. You've got your main roof and you've got two that come off and this one is pulled through just for a little added touch in the back. All right, so what if we didn't want to do it that way? We still want to keep a main roof, right? Um, you could have it, <coughs> you could make it a two story that's easily played in by using this method. Of course, that's very small. Um, that would be a really, really small upstairs. So what if um, we put a porch in, just a two tile porch and brought this over the porch? It's not a huge deal. That's not gonna show much and you could. You don't have to, but that's an option. I mean, if you want to be technical about it, and I kind of do for the purpose of this video, <laughs> we, we have a very small upstairs. It's just three wide, but you can always put dormers on the back. So there's that. Um, so then after you've got your room in the center, then you'd go up to the third story and add the gable. Super simple, but it took me years to figure that out, so you're welcome. <laughs> oh, it really did. It took me years. So this one you can't really do that with, but again, here is your 
the secondary roof, going into the primary roof. And then of course you could put another gable here, which would look super cute. I mean, or if you didn't want to do that, this, this video is going to consist of me roof re-roofing this a few times and re-roofing a num number of other shells a few times. I'm going to go ahead and leave it with the gable because I think that's cute. <coughs> and then I, I'm, I would not be happy with just a three, um, I would not be happy with th a three tile upstairs. So to me, I would expand this upstairs about like that. Lots of, lots of real life houses have this going on. And then, throw a half cable on, and boom, you've got a dormer. And it's in the back, so nobody sees it. If you didn't, if you don't like the look of it, it's it's like I said, it's in the back. Um, another way you could make it bigger is to put a dormer up here. Sorry, <laughs> can I talk and work at the same time? Maybe I don't know. We're gonna find out. But um, basic, very basic. All right, how else can we roof this? So that says a second story. Oopsie, what did I do? Oh yeah, I, was, I didn't want to do that. Just kidding. <laughs> this is the basic thing. Um, so what if we turned that and put it this way? Would it look the same? Do we want it to look the same? I mean, I'm just finding different options so that um, we can explore them together. Because when you're working on a shell, I mean, it's always exploration, right? <laughs> um, now, we had it going this way before, but what if it was this way? <laughs> I mean, it is longer this way, so you'd have a better... Is that one longer? No. I just... Ah, I see. I didn't pull it out enough. Silly me. It's like, no, it's wrong. So as you can see, now you've got a really good upstairs. <laughs> it also means that you're going to have a bigger cable, which means it's going to be pretty tall. So you have to take all those things into consideration if you're doing a shell. But for roofing, I mean, this is the kind of thing that is really good practice to re-roof something in as many different ways as you can. And also, it's kind of fun. <laughs> well, you know, kind of in the same way I, that I like, um, um, I'm a super big fan of uh, <laughs> sight singing. But, hey, I am who I am. Can't change it. I mean, you could do that. Or, oopsie. Hey, dude, I pulled you out. What more do you want? All I have to give you is love, please. Take it. 
Uh, how many? There's, and then you want to have to figure out how this little porch is gonna go. This is actually kind of cute. Actually, kind of like that because you put a post here and a post over here. And you might want it, you'd have your steps here, so you might want to put like that. I mean, that would be actually really cute. Just look. This is fun for me, so. I'm really glad somebody asked. <laughs> And maybe instead of doing, um, maybe instead of doing a gable here, you just want it to go to do that. I mean, that's actually pretty cute. Why didn't I do that when I did his shell? I mean, I did this shell. I didn't chew all because I don't think you could make it two stories. I think that's, <laughs> I think that's the gist of it. But I mean, it comes out really. Oh, I'd have to fix that, but. It's super cute! You see what I mean though? Roofing, you can do so much with roofing. So much. Hey, no, not you. <laughs> it's like, I just want this to go up where it belongs. And then of course you've got the back and you can do the same thing or you could leave it just as it is. I kind of, I really like it this way. I think it's cute. <coughs> In fact, I like it so much, I'm going to save it. <laughs> We're going to do some more shells, too. But I wanted to see how many ways I could roof this. I haven't been keeping track. Um, I'm sorry. Um, let's go back to the beginning. So that was roofing it this way. We've already roofed it with that in the front and the oh, we could still have a hip roof too. Oh, there's a new, I, I'm, everyone's obsessed with a new pack. So I'm really happy to be able to do something different. <laughs> I like the new pack, don't get me wrong. Um, but like every other pack, it has its glitches. Yeah, no. That's how they roll. I mean, here's a super simple version. <coughs> if you didn't like this with a hip, you could do it like this, or do the three wide, um, the three wide that we had before. So there's that option. Alrighty. And of course you have your modern options. So I'm just, roo I'm roofing them rather traditionally. Um, but there is always the funky options. Like, you know, something like that. Maybe you put a flat roof on the main roof and raise it up a little with the platforms. And maybe this comes down a little bit because it doesn't really need to be that high, does it? And maybe this is the same thing over here. So, I mean, there, there's so many different ways to roof. I mean, if you're asking me about roofing, you're probably looking to roof something fairly traditional. Um, at least that's what I'm assuming, but you know, we all know what assuming does. All right. So here is <laughs> this one, putting it this way, I think is a challenge because you got all flatness on the front. It's just all flat. <laughs> um, and to me, that's always a challenge because you have to create interest where there isn't any. My, that's at least that's 
how I look at it. Um, and if I were going to do that, I would probably do something like this. And then put another small one out over the porch. And then, of course, you can put your gable here. So, I mean, that's also, if you were doing the, um, oh, whoopie, 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 whoopies. I didn't forget about it. It was out of sight and out of mind. <laughs> hey, I pulled you back another one. Please do it. <laughs> So another very simple roofing job, but it looks pretty. Having these, having one over the porch and another one just kind of for dress uh, is a really nice way to create interest in a roof that's really tall like that. Um, but I mean, you could just as easily replace that and do the whole, I have, I'm gonna have a three tile wide, you know, second floor if you wanted to. Well, if you can place it down the right way. I can't seem to. <laughs> but you're getting my drift. It's all basic. It, is, it does look slightly different. I'm not gonna lie. <coughs> it looks slightly different when you do between one and the other. Stop that. I don't know if you can spot it. But it, there is a slight difference doing it between doing it one way. Here, I can show you. I can show you. But there's what it looks like this way. Here. It's not always exactly the same. So let's, let's just try that. Just for the sake of, of argument. I've always found that it's just a little bit different. Not a lot, just a little bit. I hope you guys don't mind jazz. <laughs> I needed something that could help me concentrate and focus. So in this case it is, but it isn't always. Sometimes it's a little higher or a little lower, depending on whether you're, yeah. Anywho. There's another way. All right. <laughs> All right. So we have kind of done it this way already. Um, let's just go for a different shell, shall we? <coughs> I think that shell is rather shot. It's yeah. Anywho, I have lots of shells in here. Hey, go to my library. We're not using we're not using Chris's right now. So this one has a basement. We're not going to concern ourselves with that at the moment. <coughs> there we go. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Swallowed the coffee wrong. <clears throat> it was a bad idea. All right. So if we're going to do that same thing with this, look at our main area here. Would be what? That would be our main roof. This is the first way. This is the first way we did it in the other build. And this is, let's just go the way, let's, let's try it the way Spring had it. Let's try it the way Steven had it. <coughs> I'm sorry. I can't seem to swallow properly. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> I'm copying them so that 
sorry. I'm copying them so they'll be exactly the same height. Uh, the same, yeah, same uh, roof height. Because I don't want them to be different roof heights. If that makes sense. So I'm just copying them and pasting them. And honestly, this house looks kind of cute with with uh, with just that. I think that is it's very modernish looking. It looks like a '60s house. You could even like put in. I think it would. I don't think it would be out of place to have like a, a like little paved area here where you walk in, and if you wanted to bring it up one. <coughs> So it actually looks like a porch. Um, I think that's cute, honestly. But let's... This is about roofing. <laughs> so, what if we did want that second story? Let's keep it here in this position for right now. <coughs> and let's see. If we roof our main roof this way, what we end up with, because I'm afraid this is going to be a really large, tall, tall roof. That not, it's not necessarily a bad thing, but let's just see. So now we, we've got a really big second floor. It's actually very spacious um, if we do it this way. I do this a lot on shell challenges. I'll like roof it in different ways to see which one I like the best. Um, honestly, with this, I mean, you can't, you couldn't do this in an actual shell challenge, but I'm not doing an actual shell challenge right now. I'm just doing, I am simply <coughs> working on roofing with you. Um, so I'm just going to show you possibilities. Excuse me. You. And then you've got this. I don't, I want to say that that's not necessary. I want to say that it's not, but it is. <laughs> Could I maybe get away with getting rid of that completely and just moving this down? Maybe. Probably not though. It's not going to look right. Now, what I just did there, pulling one side of the roof, I just hold shift and then I pull that back and I can just pull one side of the roof. There are some other things you should probably know about roofs. Aside from that, you can pull that one side up or one side down. You can do it with both these. Anywhere you see, um, you, can see you can see it. Anywhere you see, there are two types of arrows. These are the ones that you can um, use the shift trick with and just pull one side out as much as you want. These are just what you make them wider or less wide. So two different types, but you'll see there's also these little balls, for lack of a better word. Um, and if you click shift C, look, you get a whole bunch more. So without, I can do that, or I can do that, <coughs> but I have more options when I click the shift C because I can make it in a lot of different shapes. As you can see, uh, the possibilities are pretty endless. So yeah, shift C to get your extra options. Always a good call. I 
I mean, you could do an you could do another one like that here, but I like you know what this is looking pretty good. I kind of like it. Um, I also want to make sure I'm showing you there's one little thing that is super helpful when you I'm like no. All right, so leave it that way. Good. Or you could do the uh No, not you. I just want to delete. Thanks. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I pushed something that was not what I wanted. Because I wasn't paying attention and it wasn't looking. Bad me! Bad! I have gotten in such trouble doing that. It's not a good thing. It's never a good thing. <laughs> I actually think I like it better that way. So yeah, I actually like this shape too and I think I'm going to save this one too and for use at a later date. You know, on that one, I might even suggest, uh, might even suggest, um, doing another little bump pilot here. And then if you wanted to do maybe a little work like this, it would be cute. Yeah, that's actually cute. I like it. Oh, I missed this one. I might turn that into a chimney. But if you didn't want to, there's that. I'm actually really liking this type of an end, this type of a uh, uh, thing here. <laughs> I just like that for some reason. It's been my thing lately. And of course, now we have those uh, windows that came with the new pack that are triangles, which is kind of cool. And I know I'll eventually learn how to use them. But just not yet. <laughs> I think it's kind of kind of big for that one. Uh, but if you did it back here, it would probably make all the sense in the world. You know, I have to prove it to myself. I'm, I'm getting off the topic of roofing. I'm sorry. That's not what we're here for, but... I have to prove it to myself. Because if I don't, then it's not, it's not real and it never happened. See, this is my problem with it, is that you have to get, you can't go any closer to the roof than that. Um, I mean, I guess okay. Hey, stop that. You can do that, though. And that looks pretty cool. You have to admit, I do like these windows. Anywho, <coughs> so there's another way to roof. Um, there is one thing I kind of wanted to show, and I don't know if I can show it with this roof, uh, with this shell. Sorry, getting back to square one here. Alright, so there's the OG shell. <laughs> Which I like. Um, I'm just, there's something I want to show you. There's something some people still don't know this trick and I want to make sure that I am not being remiss. So, let's say that this was up against the back, like so. Um, and you wanted, hush, you wanted to do this. Oh, you just stop. I'm always, t I'm always yelling at my game. Always, always, always. Is everybody? Is there anyone who doesn't? That's not what I wanted, though. I wanted it to be. Oh, that's not what I want. Okay, forget about that. That was a. I just didn't. I didn't think of it right. Okay. This. Yes, this is what I was talking about. Sorry. Do I know what I'm talking about? No. Sometimes patterns escape me. 
So what if this was against the side? It's not in the shell, but what if it was? How are we going to roof that? So let's say we have we have our roof this way already. And we just want to put another little roof here. And it looks really good. And then we turn around and we're like, oh, maybe it doesn't look as good as I thought. There's a way to fix this. <laughs> Just bring this back, hold down shift and pull this little carrot back, copy the roof and put another one behind it and then just don't hold shift and pull these right up and boom it's gone okay another way to deal with that if you didn't want to do it that way would be to put something like that and bring that see now it's all the way out here so yeah you can do whatever you want so yeah two different ways that you can deal with that I mean <clears throat> you can pull it all the way through but if you do that it's gonna it's gonna kind of screw up the other side uh, you can't always this is a typical case where you can't always pull it all the way through if I pull it all the way through then it's doing some weird stuff. And we've got the roof through this side. So I mean one way or any one way or another, you have to deal with it. And that hip roof might be a better choice. Um so there. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's anything else um roof wise that I haven't really gone over. And we went over the, the little, um, remember there's always that center roof and it doesn't have to be a hip roof. It can be whatever roof you'd like, um, including these. So these are, for, this is a tradition, this is for traditional roofing, uh, not necessarily for modern roofing, but I mean, um, that's another whole story. Mid-century architecture, honey, you're on your own. Um, <laughs> I struggled with that myself. Uh, working on it though. I am working on it. Uh, the last one I built. Uh, oh, 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 there is one other thing I want to show you. So if you did want to go with a hip roof, but you wanted an upstairs, here's how you do it. This also can work for porches and such. Um, so you just want these to make sure that these corners are overlapping. And then we can just copy this one. And then make your center, your room in the middle. All right. So how, but that roof isn't that tall, is it? No, nope. it goes right about there. So then just pull these down until they all match. I think it's two. One, two. One, two. Um, that might not be it. Nope. See? See? Even I make mistakes. But it's easier when you have the upper roof on because then you just pull it up until it meets. See, it probably was right the first time and I didn't really have to mess with it, but you know, me, I have to mess with it. <laughs> so yeah, now you have a second story. If you wanted to, you could, again, put some bump outs in. The, was it little Cynthia always says? It's just a box with a bump out. It's just a fancy box. Make yourself a four square. Easy peasy. This is going to be a short video, by the way. 
It's not gonna be like two hours long. I promise. I promise. amazes me that I adjust it but they still do their thing and you don't have to do that either if this doesn't thrill you and it's like you're like oh, that, I'm not liking how that looks maybe it just needs a little variety in the roofing and you can mix and match this is this ex is actually looking like a, a common four square home right now I kind of like it it makes it interesting. Oh, look, I didn't pull these out. Silly me. Yeah, you'd probably want to pull these out. There we go. It looks like an old traditional four square. That's what I was. That's the word I was looking for. Traditional, because it sounds a lot better than common, doesn't it? <laughs> I kind of like that. This could be a chimney, like I said, but you don't. It doesn't have to be a chimney. Um, in fact, stay at age. What happened if I? What would happen? What would happen if we did this and made it? I think it would. I don't know if it's gonna work. It might not. Let's try it, just for kicks and giggles. Cause you know, inquiry minds. See. It won't work. It would have to be a lot taller. Let's see, it doesn't. Ugh, really? Yikes. Are you kidding me? It, it might actually work? That's crazy. Um, but that's more of a modern thing. And it wasn't in the actual. It wasn't in the actual build. And again, you can uh, either put the hip in there or get another. It, it does look, it does, uh, but to, when you have a hip roof, it's nice to mix it in with some of these um, gabled roofs. The combination, I think, is really nice. So now you've got a pretty large four square home with a pretty interesting look, in my opinion. I mean, it's only, it's two stories now, and, whoa, sorry. <laughs> Let go of me! Oh, man, you can put another bump out back here if you wanted to. You can even bring this out. Which I think is super interesting. And throw another, you could throw another one of these on. So yeah, so many things you can do uh, with roofing. If you have questions, don't hesitate to send me a whisper or check out my Discord. Um, I am happy to answer questions um, for anyone. I, <laughs> it's kind of why I started the whole uh, Twitch channel. So um, yeah, I hope this helps you in your in your building endeavors and uh hope to see you around stream until then i hope you have a great rest of your day and thanks again for being one of my awesome subscribers you rock bye